All right, everybody, welcome to KUM News Extra. I'm still Jason Silas, and you are still watching KUM, and we greatly appreciate it. And we appreciate you tuning in tonight in particular because it is a momentous event downtown because, you know, there, there's the big, huge church, you know, the cathedral and everything. But for those of you new to the island, there's a school behind it, which is very, very significant. That is the Academy of Our Lady of Guam and Guam's all-girl college preparatory school, and it is celebrating its 65th anniversary, and we have two proud alumni 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 okay alumni. it's always alumni <laughs> alumnus alumni yeah. especially more, more properly for women it's alumni thank you so much so two women who are way more talented and way more intellectual <laughs> than i will ever be uh the very lovely elizabeth barrett anderson class of 71 yes and representing the class of 88 miss gina rojas ladies half a day Hello. half, half a day. day half a day oh. jason okay so we're going to talk about uh the academy this event and all that it does for the community uh at length tonight okay. and everything like that so for people who do not know um, you know, we had you in here, Liz, like a little while ago talking about... Uh, a couple about, of weeks back. Yeah, yeah talking mm -hmm. about the uh, the Hall of Fame. So, right. well, first of all, how's that going? Well, we have 16 nominees, and uh, there are five winners who will be announced on September 17th at our gala event. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We're holding the winners back, like the Academy Awards, and until the evening event. Well, the MTV Awards were just today, but hopefully, oh, okay. <laughs> yours are going to be a little, little bit more like in, intellectually so. stimulating, I, I would say. <laughs> well, in fact, um, I think the 16 nominees is the largest we've had uh, in, in a long time, but only five five are winners. Okay. Well, well, Gina, what is the hallmark of an Academy graduate? You know, what was the core philosophy behind when a young woman enters the Academy, either as a freshman or you know, just at various points in high school, and when she actually walks out of there with a high school diploma? I think it's just walking out with a well-rounded experience. Um, you become young ladies as you go through your high school years at Academy, and they kind of formulate who you are. You express your individuality. You uh, figure out what you excel in, and they encourage that. And it's really empowering. And I think that's the experience of, of having the four years at Academy. Mm -hmm. And so many schools, you know, they, they use the phrase sisterhood or brotherhood because it's very cliche to do so. And, you know, like it rallies a spirit of school pride and everything like that. Academy truly lives that in, e in each of you cougars, you know, to your core. Well, I'm an only girl. <laughs> so <laughs> my 71 classmates are my sisters. And, and you see it every, uh, every year. Um, the years gather together. Now with the internet, you know, we were talking earlier about the power of the internet. The internet keeps us together as a sisterhood, uh, whether you're here on Guam or you're anywhere around the world. Uh, all you need to do, and I did that just uh, the other week, called on uh, the class because one of our sisters uh, was in need of uh, comfort and a gathering, and we were all there for her, so it was great. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, it, you know, I've, I've hear so many stories about that, like yourself. You know, you said you represent class of 71, and there's um, maybe somebody who's much, much younger or, conversely, much, much older than yourself. But you'll get people who didn't necessarily go to school in that same, you know, four, three, four year span and everything like that. They're like, hey, I know you're from Academy. You're like, you know, we've seen each other around. I can help you, and we've, we've got that instant bond. You know, someone said to me one time that um, they would meet a young lady or, or a woman, and they could tell if they were Academy or not. And I, I don't know if that's just the, the strength of our, our character, our, our leadership, uh, whether it's in government or private business. Academy women are leaders. I, it's also I'm the just class convinced rings you, got, you ladies have and um, everything, because they're quite remarkable. If they don't get stolen uh, yeah. or from your, from your home, so. Sometimes but, they outshine like a woman's wedding ring, literally and figuratively. <laughs> it's like, wow, you went to Academy. Oh, by the way, you're also married. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Well, I wish I had my, my ring. Do you still have yours? I do. Oh, yes, I do. Great. Well, Gina, um, the Academy has obviously um, kept up with the pace of technology and of society over the years, you know, through, as the decades pass. It's also managed to be a school which has been competitive, um, not only with the other schools in the context of Guam, but regionally. You know, academics have always been a very uh, highly stressed Absolutely. component there. Um, athletics have always been incredibly competitive, you know, volleyball, basketball, soccer, what have you, and everything like that. How challenging is it for the administration and the alumni itself to provide support to keep the school at such a high caliber. You know, actually, I'm pretty impressed. My daughter starts at Academy this year. She is a freshman. Congratulations. So on our third generation, third generation. Yeah, yeah, third generation of women at Academy. And I'm really impressed with what they have to offer. Um, they have uh, tools to keep parents informed. Um, as far as the education level, accreditations by two you know, outstanding accreditation teams. And, I, and I'm very impressed with the faculty. Um, first two weeks of school with my daughter, she's talking about uh, her teachers already and how impressed she is and having fun 
already in freshman year. Um, so I think what I'm hoping for her is to experience what I experience, and that is to not only make friends, but to also develop my own skills and know, like I said, where, where I excelled in and what my talents were. And um, one of the reasons why my daughter really wanted to go to Academy was because of athletics, because she is an athlete and she wants to challenge herself and um, you know, try out for sports she never tried out before. Yeah, I would say that you know, the Academy Hall of Fame, they're running out of numbers because so <laughs> many incredibly talented women have played there you know, through the yeah. years. You know, I, we could do an entire show on you know, Academy's you know, We have a lot to be problems. proud of. Exactly. Definitely. Well, you know, uh, as we were saying, Liz, um, Academy is not only like a proper Catholic education for young women on Guam, but it's also a college prep school first and foremost. What is the mentality of the school and how do you as alumni make sure that you reinforce that, you know, to get young women prepared for, you know, work at the next level, whether it's here on Guam or whether they go off, you know, to the mainland to study? Good question. What is the mentality of the school? I, I think the mentality of school is exactly as you said. It's college preparatory. It's um, guiding women in, in uh, uh, the knowledge of uh, studying. It's not easy to study, and study is the prime um, was it a tool mm -hmm. for you to get anywhere? And the academy taught me how to study. And that study and that work ethic, that study ethic, got me through four years of college and then three more years of law school. Um, I, I still go back to the sisterhood because throughout all the study, throughout all the academics and all of the uh, sports, I think that what grows the individual woman in her character is that sisterhood. We challenge each mm -hmm. other. And in challenging each other as a sisterhood, we build leadership, we build character, we build moral ethics, and uh, ultimately we do wonderful in college. <laughs> and they also represent the island very well. Well, Thank six you. and a half decades the Academy has been around, and when we come back from this quick commercial break, we are going to talk about the Academy and how they are celebrating and how you can participate too. Stay with us.